Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes lots and lots of advent calendars. It is one of my favorite things of the holiday season and I have a lot of them to share with you. I've actually put out a couple advent calendar videos already. I will link that playlist down below for you. Under playlist, just search advent calendars. Every unboxing I have done, from years past and this year is under that playlist. And today we're unboxing an advent calendar that I have not purchased before because it's had pretty terrible reviews. This year the reviews aren't the best. They're better than they were last year, but I had to grab it because I have to see for myself if this is beauty on a budget. And that's going to be the NYX 24 day beauty advent calendar. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen the price of this calendar. Of course, you can use any discounts that Ulta has on their website. You can use your Ulta points for that. I imagine there's a possibility this may eventually go on sale, but this is going to be 24 days of beauty. I will say that the outside and the inside packaging is super, super cute. Everything in the calendar is on the back. We're not peeking though because I want to be surprised. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because there's a lot of advent calendars coming your way and I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week week. I will link the next advent calendar down below for you along with my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look. And of course, come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Let's open her up and let's see if it's as terrible as I think it might be. Again, I think the packaging is super, super cute. We're gonna go ahead and start with day number one. First thing I'm pulling out is one of the NYX Butter Gloss. I actually really, really love this formula. This is in the shade Madeline. It is kind of a nude brown shade, similar to maybe what I have on today. The Butter Gloss formula is so good, and this is actually a product I use all the time. There is a little doe foot applicator. So we're starting off good. I mean, this is definitely a product I will get a lot of use out of, and I love that it's a more neutral, wearable color. This calendar makes my life easy because all the numbers are in order, so let's go to day number two. We have the NYX This Is Everything Lip Balm. Ooh, I've never tried this product, but I love a good lip balm. It doesn't really have much of a scent, and you can see that it's a pinky colored lip balm. The only thing I don't love about this style is the pot, and you have to dig your finger in there, but I love lip balm, so I'll definitely be using this. Day number three. Ooh, we have another lip product. This time we have a soft matte lip cream in the shade Home. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's a deep mauve shade. Again, a really neutral wearable shade. This is another formula from NYX that I love. In fact, I love their butter gloss. I love their lip creams. Their lip products in general are really, really good quality. Day number four. It looks like we have a little single shimmer eyeshadow. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. This is in the shade Working the End Pole. So Working the North Pole. Let's swatch it. That's actually really pretty. It's just a pinky toned shimmery shade. Perfect for the holidays. Moving on to day number five, which is a little bit bigger door. We have one of the most popular NYX setting sprays. This is the matte finish setting spray. I don't actually use a lot of matte finishing products. I like a more glowy look, so I won't actually use this. I'll just give this away, but I will say that for an affordable drugstore brand, this setting spray is really good. If you get this and you don't like matte either, you can use this to spray your brush for shimmers. You can use this to spray your sponges. You can use this for other things besides a setting spray. Day six, we have another single shadow, and this one is in the shade Through the Snow, so it looks like kind of a gold shimmer. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Those two together would be a really pretty shimmer eye look. Moving on to day number seven. Next up, we have the NYX Eyeshadow Base. This is also an amazing, amazing product. So it is just kind of a cream colored eyeshadow base. It works really well to keep your shadows on all day, brings out the true colors, prevents creasing. I don't even have this anymore, so I'm really excited. Day number eight, we have another single eyeshadow. This one is stunning. This is in the shade Toy With Your Hat. It's this pretty bronzy toned shimmer. I like that we're getting some single shimmers because that really helps create that more festive holiday look. Day nine, 
This is beautiful. We have another soft matte lip cream. This is in the shade Budapest. This is a little bit darker than the other pinky toned one that we received, but this is also a beautiful color, perfect for Christmas. This would be a great holiday shade. Day number 10, we have another single shadow. This is in the shade Hot Like Cocoa. This is actually a matte shadow, which is kind of just your typical brown matte shade. I'm not going to swatch this. I really just kind of like to swatch the shimmers to see what those look like, but a very neutral, everyday wearable brown shade. Day number 11, another eyeshadow. Wow, we're getting a lot of eyeshadows. This is in the shade Wrapped of the Year, and this is a glittery, shimmery shade. I definitely want to swatch this. This one is really pretty. You can see that it's a pretty kind of gold shimmer shade. I mean, the shimmers are really nice, but we're getting lots of single eyeshadows and lots of lip products in this calendar. Day number 12, we're halfway through and it's another lip product. And it's another soft matte lip cream in the shade London, another really neutral, pretty brown shade. Definitely a color I will use, but I'm a little confused as to why all we're getting for the most part. I have one, two, three, four, this is five lip products. I have five eyeshadows an eye primer, a lip balm, and a setting spray. So I have really heavy lip products, really heavy single eyeshadows, and not a lot of other NYX products, and we're already halfway through the advent calendar. Moving on to day 13, it's another eyeshadow. This is in the shade Workshop, like W-E-R-K Shop, and it's a rose-toned shimmer shade. I'm kind of over swatching them. I mean, they all swatch pretty nicely, at least the shimmer shades, but now this is going to be my fifth shimmer eyeshadow in one matte so far. I have a feeling there's more lip products and eyeshadows in this advent calendar. Day number 14, what do you know? Another lip product. Another soft matte lip cream in the shade Stronghold. I'll give the calendar this. At least these shades are neutral, wearable, everyday shades. This is another kind of brownie, rosy toned shade. Day number 15, another single shadow, another matte shadow. This is in the shade Down to Dash. So it's kind of a creamy, taupey colored matte shadow. Again, super neutral, which is fine. I expect that in an advent calendar. I mean, our lips are neutral, our eyeshadows are neutral. The good thing about the enormous amount of eyeshadows is we have a whole eye look. We have two mattes and five shimmers so far. Number 16, oh, something different. And I'm actually really excited about this. This is their Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So this, right up my alley, Illuminescent, Dewy, that's what I look for in my setting spray. I do have normal to dry skin and I like that more radiant finish. So this, I'm super excited about. I'm also glad it's not a lip product or an eyeshadow. But, time will tell. We have Door 17, another lip product. And another soft matte lip cream in the shade Istanbul. Now this is a little bit more on the pinky side, so a little bit different than what we've received. It's another lip product. We're, we're gonna go into my final thoughts at the end, but at least it's a product that I enjoy from NYX. Number 18, oh, looks like another type of lip product. This I'm pretty excited about. This is the This Is Everything Lip Scrub. So this goes with the same packaging as our lip balm. Ooh, it's a bright pink. I can see all the little scrubby bits. Smells amazing, smells like a berry coconut. I leave lip scrubs in my shower. Whenever I shower, I scrub my lips, get all that dead skin off. So I'm actually excited to have this and the lip balm so we can scrub our lips and apply the lip balm. Again, the container, not my favorite, just because we have to dig our finger in. Door number 19, what do you know? Another lip product. This one though is a butter gloss, which is my favorite formula from NYX. And this is in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. This is a bright pink. Oh yeah, she's a bright pink. This this is more of like a springy summer color. I mean, it's different for the calendar, which is nice because it's another lip product, but at least the color range is a little bit more bright and fun. Day 20 and we've got another, yet another lip product. It's another butter gloss, which I'm not mad about. And this is in the shade Rocky Road. So this is a more deep wine color, which I'm actually really excited about. I love a good blue based red, but I love a good wine colored lip product as well. Again, amazing for fall, amazing for the holidays. Number 21. Seriously, what do you know? Another butter gloss, this time in the shade Cinnamon Roll. However, another shade I absolutely love. It actually is pretty close to what I have on today. I've really been leaning on more brown neutral lips, so I'm not mad about it, but come on, another lip product. Day 22. Oh, something different. 
I love this product from NYX. One of my favorites. This is the Born to Glow. This is a liquid illuminator. So you can use this as a liquid highlight, but what I love to do with this, so I'm super stoked, is mix this in with my foundation for that more glow from within glowy look. I mentioned I love that more glowy look. So this is a product. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about in this advent calendar. And it's not a lip product or an eyeshadow. We're almost done. Day 23. Oh, it's not a lip product or an eyeshadow either. This is another product that is exceptional from NYX. This is their HD Finishing Powder. So this is a pressed powder that you can use to set your under eyes, set your face. It's an amazing, amazing product. It's buttery soft. It's finely milled. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we got a powder. And last but not least, day 24. So this should be the big kahuna, the most exciting thing about the advent calendar. And if it's an eyeshadow or a lip product, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. No. No, it's an eyeshadow. Oh, it's an eyeshadow. It's a brown matte in the shade reindeer coat. So it's another eyeshadow, a boring brown matte. I mean, day 24, day 24 next. So quick recap. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lip products. So almost half the calendar is lip products. I have two setting sprays. I have two lip products products like a lip scrub and a lip balm. I have the liquid illuminizer, the powder, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single eyeshadows, creating a palette, creating a complete eye look, but there's not a lot of variance in this advent calendar. And I think that was the biggest complaint that people had with this is it's just loaded with lip products, loaded with single shadows. And NYX has so many other amazing products. What about their marshmallow primer? What about their beauty sponges? What about brow products, eyeliners, blushes? I mean, none of that is in here. It is lip products, single eyeshadows. That's really the majority of what this is made up of. Over half of the calendar, almost the entire calendar is the lip and eye products. So if you don't love single shadows, if you don't love NYX lip products, this is definitely not the advent calendar for you. So I'm a little disappointed with the lack of variation, but on the flip side, the lip products, I'll use them all. The single shadows, I don't reach for single shadows very often. I'll use the lip scrub, the lip balm, the liquid illuminizer, the powder, the setting sprays. I'll use all of that. Do I think this is worth the money? No, I don't think that it is. If you can get this on a sale, if you can use a coupon on Ulta to pick this up, if you love their lip products like I do and you love the single shadows, this is probably a great deal for you. But overall, is it a bang for your beauty buck? I would give it a big fat no, unless again, you can use some type of discount points or coupon. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the advent calendar? One other kind of random side note is I think the packaging is really pretty, but the outside really doesn't match the inside. That's a little interesting. Overall, it's okay. Is it the best purchase that I've made? Probably not. So let me know what you guys think of this down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I'll link the NYX advent calendar down below for you. If I can find any discounts, I'll put those down there as well. My favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, if you'd like to recreate this look. And of course, come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Maybe next year, NYX, we can have a little more variety in the advent calendar.